TikTok shop. Are these products scams or are they the real deal? My For You page on TikTok has been flooded with TikTok shop items. And so I'm curious, if I buy these products, are they actually what they appear to be advertised to me or are they completely something else? So what I have done is I have scrolled through TikTok and I have bought the first five things recommended to me through the TikTok shop. I'm super excited to see how these TikTok products fare out to be and if they actually work then maybe TikTok shop's gonna be a very viable place for me to start doing some shopping. I don't know but let's go on to the first product. Hello, hey, so the first product we're going to be testing has literally taken over the internet. I have seen this everywhere and have been so intrigued myself and that is snail mucin, yes for skincare, snail goop on your face. <laughs> so when I saw this on TikTok shop, I was like, we gotta try it. You know I love a good skincare routine and I'm, I'm genuinely curious. So I got this on TikTok shop for $20, so it better work. And what really sold me was that it's supposed to be really good for your skin. It says it's an all-in-one multivitamin for your skin. It's supposed to help improve the skin's elasticity, resulting in a glowing, youthful uh, appearance. And it's supposed to have nutrients that provide intense hydration, which is great for me because I have very dry skin to the point of like eczema, especially on my hands. It's supposed to repair any damage to the skin's moisture barrier. So it all sounds like really good things and I'm very curious to try it. So I just got out of the shower. I haven't done anything to my skincare routine except for cleanse my face in the shower. And I'm going to be using all the same products that I usually use. That way there's not that many different factors in this experiment. I'm going to be trying the snail mucin for a full week. So just use my cleanser from Curology. Gonna go in with the snail mucin. This is the brand. And it says it has about 96% snail secretion filtrate mucin. So <laughs> I'm nervous. And then I'm just gonna go in with the bubble uh, moisturizer after. So if any of you are wondering, this is the shop on TikTok that I got it from. And here's a code to get $5 off, which is literally like 25% off since I got it for 20 bucks. So there you go. Use this code if you're interested. Let's open up this package. Ooh, okay. All right, I think I just put it on. Apply evenly to the face. That's all it says for the directions. I'm so curious, this is it gonna be like super sticky? Let's test it out. <gasps> okay, I got some. I'm trying to smell it. It doesn't smell strong at all. Oh, it's very light. It's super light, wow. It really glides on your face. Like it kind of does feel like, I mean, obviously I know it's snail mucus, but I mean, it feels like it, not false advertising. I love how lightweight this is though, cause I, I've tried a lot of skincare products. I just feel really heavy on my face. Not this one. This one feels very hydrating, very lightweight. It's obviously clear. No fragrance, it is what it is. It kind of has like an oily texture, but it's not oily, it's snail mucus. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna record every day that I try this product and we're gonna see if it changes my face at all. Um, as you can tell right now, I have two problematic areas on my face and they're pimples that are like just going down like <laughs> so this one is just healing this one was a pimple that i picked and now it's kind of left a scar so that's healing too my face also just has uneven uh texture or color like right here i get it really red and then i do have dry patches on my face so we'll see if this evens out my face and gets rid of most of my acne i hope it doesn't cause acne <laughs> please don't be foreshadowing um, wow, it already feels dry though. Okay, snail mucus, I can get on board. We'll see for the rest of the week, but okay. First impressions, pretty good. All right, time to go in with my moisturizer and then we'll see how this looks at the end of the week. Day two of using snail mucin. It's so slimy. I feel like this is like slime I used to make. <laughs> it's so slimy to the point it feels like oil, which is weird. Day three of using snail mucus. Day four. 
Day number five, so far, I'm really liking this. I feel like it's making a difference. I wonder what you guys think. We have two more days left for the experiment, but I think I'm gonna, honestly, if it keeps going the way that it has been, I think I'm just gonna keep doing it after the experiment. I mean, might as well have a full bottle, and I really do feel like it's having a positive impact on my skin, so thumbs up. Day six. I'm looking rough. I, my eyes are kind of red because I just got out of the shower and I think I got water in my eyes. But <laughs> I can't believe we're almost a week using this. And I'll give you my full thoughts tomorrow. Final day of using the snail mucin. And here are my thoughts. So, so far I am loving this. I don't think I can give a definitive answer on this though because I think I have to use it a couple more weeks to see like real changing results but i will say one thing is that like i was saying at the beginning of this experiment i usually have like i don't know if it's called hyperpigmentation i don't know the correct word for it but usually right here it's like a lot more splotchy and red than the other parts of my faces but this week and because of that i would like cover it up with like like full foundation but this week since using the snail mucin I haven't even done any foundation. I've only done little concealer spots on like the problem areas I've been having. Um, I feel like it really has had an impact. I feel like it, it's definitely made my skin a lot more even. I haven't seen any further breakouts from this, so that's great. <laughs> um, and I mean, I still have like the scars of the acne that I had prior to this, but I do feel like it is healing. So, and I've only used like a tiny little bit this whole week from the bottle. So this bottle does go far, even though it is like 20 bucks. So it's definitely not the cheapest stuff, but I think I'll just keep this in my skincare routine. It is, the thought of putting snail mucin on my face um, was a little interesting, but if you could get past that, like, I don't know. I feel like it's been great for my skin. Recently during the week, I found out that this has been a, uh, popular skincare regimen for many Asian countries like for a long period of time so we're just hearing about it now it's getting viral over in the US but um, it may not work for everyone you're gonna have to try it out on your skin type but but I've seen benefits so far and I'll just keep on using it and see if anything else comes from it so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up second TikTok product we are testing involves the phone so that's why the camera's a little bit different it's usually when I go out and public i tend to use my phone as the camera because it's a little less loud and proud like not as many people stare at me when i'm vlogging on like phone compared to when i'm vlogging on the camera like the camera is like a sore thumb so i try to go a little bit undercover in public so that i'm not the center of attention because i do not like that and usually when i am on the phone the audio and like the video quality in general is definitely not the same as the camera but it still suffices like it's still good um but i do notice that i have to talk a lot louder especially in a public place where there's a lot of background noise music people talking i have to just project my voice louder you don't so, got this mic. yeah i don't got that bad boy <laughs> <laughs> so i'm so excited to be trying this product this is a professional lavalier that attaches to your phone and is bluetooth like it's wireless i got it on tiktok shop for 7.99 but the shipping is where they get you guys 10 bucks for shipping more than the product itself so we'll see how well this fares in the store um i'm really excited about this because that means if it works and it's not crunchy then i don't have to scream i can just like talk undercover in my little microphone. So we're at Target. Let's go inside and try this bad boy out. Okay, this is my first time using the microphone. I feel like I should be able to hear myself. Like, a, like it should be echoing. We'll see what the quality is like. Yeah, how far back can you go? Can you still hear me if I'm in a different aisle? Let's test it out. I'm also holding up right to my mouth and not on my shirt, but it does come with a little clip where it can go on your shirt. We're testing the range here. Is this good or is this crunchy? If this, wait, how quiet can I talk? Can I talk this quiet? Because if I could talk this quiet, we're winning. I can go in any store. Okay, I'm gonna rewatch the footage. Oh. This little microphone is a win, major win. I thought it was gonna be crunchy audio because of like, it was less than 20 bucks. Girl, this is the best purchase I ever made. You can also get a two pack where you get two of these little microphones. Best be running and get one if you wanna vlog. Just saying. Hello. <laughs> what should we talk about today? Yeah, we could pass it back and forth. You can also like hook it onto like yes. I could be so incognito oh, to I'm shopping. Christmas presents. Oh yes, 
Christmas present. I'll order one for do you both want one for TikTok? Oh, yeah. on from TikTok stuff. Okay. Making a reoccurring purchase. <laughs> that's brilliant. I love this. I, I love Best purchase ever. Yeah, that's so helpful actually. Yeah. Oh. yeah, why didn't we get this years ago? This next TikTok shop item has taken over the whole internet by storm. I have seen this everywhere. So when I saw that it popped up on my TikTok shop for you page, I was not surprised at all. And that is the Ugg Tasman Slippers dupe. The Ugg Tasman Slippers has been so trendy, so viral recently. And usually I think they're about $110 if you buy them from Ugg. But on TikTok, the deal that I found was it was originally $33.99, but I used my TikTok shop discount. So that brought it to almost 20 bucks. So 20 bucks, 110 bucks. I'll say let's go with the dupe, but first we gotta try it out and see if it's all the hype and if it's worth getting the dupe over the real deal. So this is what it came in. <laughs> Very non-discreet box. Let's open it up. <gasps> oh, <coughs> that smells horrendous. Oh. Why is this so stinky? Ew, it smells like, it smells like wet, rotting vegetables. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So I got it in the very trendy camel color. This is the color specifically that everyone's been selling out in. And so, okay, first glance, this is, I mean, they've been in the box that they're a little smushed, but this is what they look like first glance. The inside, super fuzzy. I love the soft lining on the inside. They smell so horrendous. They smell so bad. I also sized up because of the reviews. They said it tends to run small, so I did go up a size. Um, but I think they're cute. I love the chunky platform bottom. I love the softness. The only downside is how stinky this smells. The box also is kind of moist, so I don't know what happened in shipping with these bad boys, but they do not smell good. I hope the smell comes out of these, but let's give it a good little test. I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the day. I don't think I'm gonna go outside my house, so I'll just wear them around the house. I'll let you know how comfortable they are, my thoughts, how well they hold up, but I mean, I can't really compare them to the original Ugg slipper because I've never bought in them. So I'll just give you my opinions on the dupes. All right, this is what they look like on. Um, doesn't really match my orange pumpkin -y shirt the best, but overall, this is what they look like. I don't know why everyone was saying to size up because I honestly think I could have gone with my normal size. Um, I don't feel like. Well, they're they're a little loose. I don't I don't feel like they're gonna fall off, but yeah, I think I could have gone with the original size. But they are super cute. I see the hype. They're very soft. I'm not wearing any socks inside. I hope that doesn't make them stinky though. But I think you could wear socks or no socks with them. And yeah, hopefully this is like a good angle of what they look like. Very, very cute. Yeah, I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the day when I've been wearing them for a while. The next TikTok shop item that was advertised to me was a teeth whitening kit from My Smile, And this was $32.95 and it has some pretty crazy claims. So you're supposed to see results in 10 minutes. It has a non-sensitive formula and can whiten your teeth up to 10 shades. That is crazy. So let's open up this little kit. I'm very excited to try this and let's see what's inside. Ooh, oh, this is so fancy. Okay, so it looks like the, uh, what is this? Looks like this is the whitening light. There's like, here's the fit tray. This looks like the instruction manual on the inside. I hope I didn't just break it. And then we also have some teeth whitening gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that instruction manual and then we're gonna test out our little experiment. So something they included in this little kit is a whitening shade guide. So you can see all the shade ranges that your teeth can be in. So looking at my teeth right now, <laughs> this is so weird. I think I'm about a five. Anna, oh, no. it's hard for me to tell. What do you guys think? This is like, it's hard for me to tell. <laughs> I think I'm about a five. So if this can bring me 10 shades down, I can literally go to the wipes of white teeth and that's gonna be crazy. Um, it also says to repeat 
these steps um, for seven days until your results are achieved. So maybe this is not like a one time like wowzer result. This is gonna be like across a couple of days, but I'm curious to see what it does in one sitting. So let's see what happens. Okay, I just attached all the pieces together. I also washed this because I'm a germaphobe. I don't trust things like being, I mean, you should always wash things when you get them. Okay, so now some take the whitening gel and put it on the mouthpiece and then we just stick it in and watch the magic happen. So it says to do 0.5 milliliters to both the top and bottom. So, okay. Wait, how, where, oh, okay. I'm so nervous I'm gonna mess this up. I feel like a doctor. Why is it not working? Oh, did it, I didn't take the cap off, duh. <laughs> I'm just struggle bussing today. Why is this giving me like needle trauma? Like, oh man, this is not good vibes right now, but if it's gonna make my teeth white, I'm excited. So, okay, let's try this right now. Okay, I'm adding the teeth whitening. I don't know where to add it, honestly. Okay, I think I just added the top bit, so now I'm gonna add the bottom. How does this work? Okay, I think I did it. All right, now comes the fun part. Cheers! Mm. <laughs> okay, I just finished the little routine. Rinse my mouth out because it's told me to and also because I did not like how the formula tasted I had to get it out of my mouth, but let's see has my teeth gotten whiter <gasps> What do we think? I can't tell is it the lighting in this room? I literally I feel like it has but is it placebo? Where am I on this chart? Okay? Let's do a side-by-side -side screen of the before and after I was so dumb and I did not take a picture of the before when I should have but we'll just do some editing magic before, after. Okay, what do you guys think? You guys can see the side by side. I'm gonna say I think it works. I don't know if it's due to just like me placebo thinking that, you know, I did all this and then it worked. But if it didn't work on the first try, I feel like it definitely will if I keep doing this for the rest of the week like it says to. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results. It was super easy to apply, to do. I just sat there for 10 minutes. I was very slobbery though. Like <laughs> I was a little worried during the process that it wouldn't work because my saliva really kicked in and I was like, oh no, all that's gonna like mingle with like the formula and then what if it doesn't work but I think it still worked my teeth are I, my teeth are feeling clean they're looking white I'm gonna give it a thumbs up I'm gonna keep using this I'm definitely gonna use it till all the whitening gel is out and I have like two more syringes of these and so that's a lot of product um you really get a lot of bang for your buck so thumbs up I like it. The last product we're gonna be testing out is actually a watercolor paint set. So this is from brand Grabby, and it was $39.99 on the TikTok shop. So definitely by far the most expensive thing that I've bought for this video. But if you know me, you know that I am really big into like paint by numbers and that sort of like crafty stuff. And I love working with watercolor. Um, I honestly wanna do it more. And so this set includes like a hundred different watercolors, a water brush pen, which is honestly the main selling point for me for this kit um, because it just makes it seem a lot easier and a new way to watercolor. Also comes with a pencil, an art sponge, and a watercolor swatch sheet. So let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here we go, unboxing time. This case is so stinking cute, are you kidding me? I've seen those like cute little gr Pinterest girlies who go out with their watercolor sets on their hikes and just like paint nature stuff. And I'm always like, how do you bring that stuff? Because my watercolor set is definitely not as compact. This seems so viable for that. Like it comes in this cute little box, let's open it. <gasps> Whoa, whoa, oh, and there's some shimmery ones too. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, so some of them are shimmery over here. So we got some solid colors over here, shimmery tones over here. We even got some like very vibrant, like neon color ones. Lots of options, I love that. Okay, okay. And it comes like in a pretty sturdy tin can. Ooh. 
This looks like this will be the brush. Oh my. Okay, lots of stuff. Okay, here's the sponge. We got three watercolor brushes in different sizes. Oh, and the heads look a little bit different. So this one's kind of like a flat brush. This one is a very long brush. And here is your smaller brush. And I have never used anything like this before, so I'm gonna have to look up how to do that, but it looks really fun. We also have our pencil and a pencil sharpener. And lastly, I love that they include this because I always feel like paints look different on the paper versus like in their tube or their container. So this is a swatch sheet for literally every single color so you can see exactly how it's gonna look like when you put it on the paper. And they even have like cute names. Okay, I gotta figure out which one belongs to which one. But let's get our little art station set up and test out this watercolor palette. All right, I have it all ready to go. I just filled up the paint brushes with water in the base and I think all I have to do is squeeze them out, which actually makes this a lot less messy, which is nice. Okay, so I think this is how it's oriented. So let's try our first little swatch. Let's go with candy red, since my favorite color is red. So I'm just gonna drop some water into here. And then, that is so cool. <gasps> wow, that is so cool. I love this method. I might have added a little bit too much water. <laughs> Oops. There's candy red. Colors are so pigmented and so vibrant. I love that. All right, I'm not really sure how to go about cleaning this, so I'm just gonna rinse it in some water in a little cup, and let's try another color. Okay, I feel like we have to try this fluorescent orange right here. This is just speaking to me. So I'm gonna grab some of that. Wow, brings me right back to the 80s. Not that I lived in the 80s, but <laughs> it brings me to the 80s. Well, I'm definitely gonna be having a lot of fun filling in this chart, but I think we should test this on actual paper and try to draw something. So I couldn't find our typical art paper that we use, so I'm just gonna be using copy paper, like printer paper, and hopefully that works, we'll see. Okay, so let's first go in and draw some flowers. So I'm gonna use this green, and we'll draw some flower stems. Whoa, it glides so smoothly, wow. And that's a very vibrant green. Okay, love, that is so fun. Okay, let's try the biggest paintbrush and let's add some flowers. Wow, okay, I think I'm back on my art kick. This is so much fun. And there's our little flower. Look how cute. Okay, I'm not the best artist, you guys, but this is so fun, even if you're not like a really good artist. This is so fun. I'm gonna be doing this for hours. Oh my goodness. This is not a grand masterpiece, but I think you get the gist. If there's someone in your life who loves art, I can attest that this is not a scam. This is so fun. I think my favorite parts about this product are how many colors there are, how vibrant they are, how compact it is. I can easily take this on the go if I'm traveling. I love this paintbrush method. It makes it mess-free, hassle-free. Overall, I'm gonna get more into a crafty art girly. Like 10 out of 10, this one's a thumbs up, I would recommend. It's the end of the day and it's time to give my overall review of the Tasman Slipper dupes. So I, obviously I wore them, um, but it was only inside the house, so I can't really make a claim as to how it will be in rougher conditions outside and stuff. But they held up pretty well. The inside is definitely not as soft as it was at the beginning of the day. Yeah, this gets your feet really warm. They're called slippers for a reason, so I can see how your feet can get a little sweaty, maybe be even a little stinky after a long time of wear, but maybe that's the same for the non-dupes, I'm not sure. I did not know so one time I tried pulling my foot out, like the sole got crinkled. Oh, that's what it looks like on the inside. So the sole may be prone to slipping. It's not like securely fastened in there, but maybe that's because you can possibly clean this part. I'm not sure, but they are super cute. They are a lot cheaper than the original. So I'd say if you've been thinking about it, give it a try. Um, if I were to do this again, I would get my actual size and not size down, but very comfy, very cute. And so far they're working well for me. Overall, 
Are these TikTok products a scam? In my personal opinion, I'm gonna say no. At least from the ones that I tried today. I was highly pleased by all of them. It was so fun to try and honestly, I think it really hooked me into the TikTok shop because now I think I'll be shopping from there more. <laughs> honestly, I think it's such a great way to like look for ideas for birthday presents, Christmas presents, like gift ideas for other people. I know sometimes for me it's difficult to come up with a gift for someone, but TikTok shop makes it easier because you can see what other people are like, what's kind of trending right now. And this is not in no way sponsored by TikTok shop or any of these products. Um, but yeah, I think I might be a TikTok shop purchase purchaser now. Purchasee, purchaser. <laughs> so let me know down below if you have bought anything from the TikTok shop before. If you want a part two to this video, that could be kind of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!